when you're that young, you're willing to do anything, uh, you know, physically to perform and, and, and do things that maybe at a 40 year old, you know, in 21 years in the business frame of mind, you, you may not do. We were the only company where the guys literally went out there and beat the shit out of each other. It was real. They were fighting. They were hurting each other. How does that look? But it's all fake, man. It's all fake. Everything's fake. Wrestling's fake. This is an independent documentary about a defunct wrestling company called Extreme Championship Wrestling that was very influential in a boom in pro wrestling in the late 90s. Extreme Championship Wrestling was kind of a subculture of a subculture, which was pro wrestling. And while we were shooting it, the company closed, so then it became not as much a documentary about something that's going on in Philadelphia that's weird and interesting, and became wanting to retell the story of how this company started and, and what happened to it along its journey. And the people involved. Yeah. You know, uh, from wrestlers <clears throat> to ring announcers to office people to promoters, uh, journalists, photographers. We have over 60 interviews, um, about 50 hours of footage, and we're in the process of going to editing, and with your help, we can bring this to the people. ECW was marketed as this revolution, as this kind of quasi-religious cult. And it was a revolution in a way. And you can say whatever the hell you want, but ECW revolutionized the wrestling industry. I mean, fairly early on, we decided to go without narration. We wanted this story to be told by the people that were there, by the people that reported on it by the people who were fans of it. Many differing opinions <laughs> well, yeah. of what it was and its impact and, and particulars of the ups and downs because there were a lot of great moments in ECW uh, in front of the camera and behind it as a company. Um, it was very mom and pop, the little engine that could, um, but they made a lot of mistakes and we try our best to cover this fairly and give everyone uh, a fair voice. The goal of ECW was nothing short of beating WWE and WCW. We knew where the future of wrestling was. We knew it was sex, violence, blood, tables. We knew that people loved that stuff. They want to see something to convince themselves that they've paid their 25, 30, 40 bucks not to see grown men play fight. They, they want to see something that they can grasp onto and say, but that's real, that's real blood. There's nothing fake about that. Those guys are really bleeding. Bam, and that's it. You gotta do it. You know, people want to see blood, man. You gotta do it. What are you gonna do? Come on, guys don't cut their heads open and rip themselves up into, and it turned out to be, that's the way it is, you know? The bulk of this project was filmed in 2001 and a little in 2002. Um, at the time, we were just too young to take this to market and get it out to everybody. We just didn't have the right connections or the funding. Um, and there were so many times we thought we were going to do it and then things fell through um, until January of this year. When we came back, we realized that there was there more to the story now to tell than there was back then. Um, and so we went to uh, the Extreme Reunion show in Philadelphia that happened recently and you know shot some footage caught up with some people that we talked to 10 years ago and talked to them now you get to see what the legacy of the company is and see what became of these people you get to see what these people are doing now and how they feel about the things now that we reinvented professional wrestling the legacy CW is rock and roll I mean it was a rock and roll pound the payments punk rock movement we wish we can go back and appreciate it and look at it from those old eyes that we have now and, and really take in every single experience. One of the things we've strived for from the beginning is to try to make this film accessible and, and to find an audience that's not just wrestling fans. Because we think the story is compelling enough that Anyone can, anyone with an interest in, in cultural phenomenon, pop culture, can... Um, and human beings trying to reach their dream. Yeah. And in some cases doing it, and some not doing it. After 12 years, we are so close to finishing this thing. Um, this is something I never thought would happen, but 
uh, with your help, uh, we should be done within a few months. Please read through our Kickstarter site. Uh, please do watch the video. Um, if you donate anything, we are very thankful to you. Every little bit counts. Um, we should have exclusive clips and updates for donors. And hopefully this month, you can help us make our dream come true.